Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. Uh, this is Bullet Jill. I'm here with Air Angel, and she's going to be running mobility. Uh, say hi again, Air Angel. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. We'll be back up in just a moment here. Shout out to all my friends in chat right now. You lovely, lovely beans. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Hope you're all ready for an incredibly relaxing and hypnotizing run. This is probably the most chill thing you'll see all day. Spreading those positive vibes and chill, everybody. All right, so I think we're gonna just do a three, two, one start. And uh, all right, <laughs> here, here we go. Three, one, start. All right, and we're off to the races. Everybody, this is Mobility. It is a indie platformer made by Tom H, AKA Aurorix. It's a very, very, very chill. Um, indie game that you can get on itch.io for free as well as you can obviously donate to the developer if you feel like it but so the whole premise of this game is that we are a spaceship mechanic and each section of levels is its own spaceship and we have these little platforms right here that we have to uh and so we just have to directly touch it and turn on all of these circuits uh the music is beautiful it is completely mesmerizing, and to be honest, this game is like my aesthetic. Um, I'm a total nerd, and my career is actually in technology, so uh, when I found it on Itch, I was like, heck yes, we gotta run it, so that's what I did. Um, and I'm really, really glad to show this game to you guys today. It's with other wonderful lady speedrunners. Can't wait to check it out. But yeah, if you guys have any kind of questions about the game, let me know. So there are four different modes for the game. So this is contact mode, obviously, as I mentioned before. It's kind of like the normal mode. Um, before each level starts, you see that there is a menu option there. And it will give you contact, radius, um, I think one is growth, and one is transparent. Transparent, these platforms. Oh, we can miss one, it's all right. Come on, come on, Loga, Lugo, all right. So transparent is obviously the platforms disappear completely. Um, which is very, very, very difficult because a lot of the times, like as you saw there, the platforms I have to reuse if I miss any. It's very, it's very difficult. It literally turns this into a different game, uh, each mode, in my opinion. So one very interesting thing to note. Um, I have tried growth before and it is also quite difficult. This has an electric field all around it. So as you notice there, the screen kind of shook a little bit. So this, what I'm running today, is all uh, all levels, which pretty much means every single thing on the spaceships. Um, but there, that little shake pretty much told us that the ship is uh, compatible to fly and that we no longer need to work on it, but if we feel like working on it, we can. So that's what we did. Um, so that is, that is uh, kind of the any percent route. Um, you could So pretty much there you can skip a couple levels, obviously. So that's kind of nice for future runners if you want to get into it. Um, but I do like all levels. There is a section, once you complete all the levels on the spaceship, uh, you get a new skin. So you no longer play as this little block boy and you will be able to see the different skins you get on the ship. But as you see there, as soon as you finish a level, you get a little... Um... Right now, we are Scarf Cat! Scarf Cat Hype! Scarf Cat Hype and Chat. Literally, we are a cat with a scarf. We are everybody's dream. 
the scarf speedrunning on the GDQ channel. There's that spaceship, and now we're going to the next spaceship. And we're making pretty good time, so that's super exciting as well. But, um, and also, I will do a little trick here, as you see. So we hit, we hit a spawn point right there. So there's not a whole lot of tips and tricks in terms of routing uh, for this game. But one thing in particular is that you can restart at a spawn point at any point. So if you fall off, you restart there. And you could also press one of your buttons to respawn there as well. So that's awesome. In terms of going, you know, out of your way to get a block and then needing to return back to a space uh, previously. All right, can go back up. There's Scarf Cat. Scarf Cat, no. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Don't panic, anybody. We're good. I really, really enjoy just the platforming in this in general. Uh, just because, come on, you got it, you got it. Um, you get little, you have little things and you get a little double jump. And I also really enjoy this art. I cannot stress this enough. The music and the art in this game are absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite things is uh, as you can see, when I jump, it leaves a little shadow almost, a little, a little scarf cat shadow. It's almost like contrails on an airplane, which is also very sciencey, techy, and beautiful. On scarf cat, and these little spiky rotating things, obviously you can't touch. Um, in this game, uh, obviously you have the dump, the the dump. Yes, you have the dump. No, you have the double jump as well as um, if you press down and forward, that helps you accelerate forward faster. So there it says that the spaceship was semi-fixed and we can go back to base, but we have to finish all the levels because that's what we signed up for is all levels today. So that's what we doing. Trick, ah, we made it. All right, let's see if we make this jump. Haha, -ha, we did it. All right, that jump right there is a little tricky for me. It's, I bet every speedrunner goes through this. They always have that one jump that like they seem to either always get or never get. And that's pretty much the jump for me. But hey, we're past it. All right. I have one more in this uh, spaceship to fix. Pretty solid progress. And in the top left-hand corner, you also see in-game time. If you go onto the menu, the in-game time stops. So that's also... A really good counter for speedrunners as well. And depending on the time, I will show you a couple other features of this game that is also really, really, really helpful for speed timing and tracking. So stay tuned for that while Scarf Cat just annihilates. Right, and now we are a ninja, a little ninja boy. My chat tends to call this little Santa Claus because it does kind of look like a little Santa. Uh. Okay, so that guy right there that we just talked to, he is just like... Um, obviously, I skipped through all of that text, but he's just like, can I offer you a couple tea cup of tea? And we're just like, no. And he's just like, you sure? You sure you don't want any tea? And it's just like, dude, this is my first day on the job and you are telling me that I need to sit here and drink some tea with you. Like, I am just trying my best, okay? Little, little ninja is trying his best. I should say. Oh so, yeah. All right, so we're in the engine room. We're going, phew. And I also really love this atmosphere too because it reminds me of engineering paper. So go figure, right? So we hit a spawn point, we're gonna slide down, we're gonna jump up, and slide back down again! Alright. I don't know why that's so satisfying. And jump up! Alright, and so you can also hit these platforms in any way, shape, or form. Um, you can bounce on the side of them, on top of them, whatever, you just need to touch it. Touch the platform! Alright. This level I like to call... S star Doritos. 
because you can't touch them. So it's just like, you're going through this level like that. Oh, rip. All right, it's fine. We're good. <laughs> Gonna get hit by ninja stars. But they're not ninja stars. Star Wars Doritos. All right, we're good. Oh, if I can make that jump, that'd be great. Set. Reset percent. Just kidding, we're good. Nope, we're not. Everybody. So the reason why I keep resetting like that is because if you don't get a good pattern for these little Dorito boys, uh, sit back and keep hitting ya. Which isn't great. Into this level. Alright, so we're going up. Up in the engine room. And I love how it has like little smoke like on the side. It's just like, yeah, I get it. Like, it's broken. It's good. It's all fine. Because we're going to fix it in our own way by opening up these circuits, which I guess, in a way, is a good way of fixing it. Chip mechanic myself. This kind of seems simplistic. But I will admit, I do play this uh, just casually as well when I'm like super stressed out from either work or IRL. So it's just like, if you want to just pick it up on itch for free, just to like, you know, this is, this is definitely the game for you. Books. And you can talk to any of these little characters that are just standing around as well. And a lot of them have really witty banter, which I always find exciting. Was in games, it's like, oh, what do you have to say? Sometimes it's like, oh, somebody has a case of the Mondays, and you're just like, oh, who says that? All right. That the spaceship is semi-fixed, but we are still going since this is all levels. Right there on the screen, I'll show you the map in which you have completed the levels as well. So that's also nice to make sure that you completed it so you didn't have to go to the screen, the um, settings screen. More time that way. So I'm actually going to reset right here because that jump is ridiculous. All right, we made it. Whew, we made it. It's all right. We're good. Success. All right, that was good. Got to drop down all the way down here. Yep, got it. All right. So this level is really interesting because you have to you have to use these little wavy things. Kind of like if you've ever been to an airport, you know how they have like the walkways of like a like a self-moving walkway. I kind of I think I think it's best represented that way. Um, and they make you move faster, so that's cool. So if you want to just hang out there, check your tweets. You hang out, it's pretty much the same thing. I have one more room, and after this room, it is uh, my personal favorite skin as well as my chat's favorite skin, and you will about in a moment. Oh, it's every person's dream, other than Scar Scarf Cat. So, this is the second dream come true today, ladies and gentlemen, after this level. Which. Let's see, let's see the skill. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, we got it. Let's see what we got. We've got chat asking where's Scarf Cat. I assume Scarf Cat's taking a nap, as cats do. Yeah, Scarf Cat is now taking a nap. And we are now a piece of toast. But we are literally a piece of toast. So, I, I hope that that achieves somewhat of a dream of yours. It may be a dream of mine. Scarf Cat, but Scarf Cat is, is no longer here. Um, so pretty much what has happened here, everybody, as you saw on the previous screen, the music has gotten really crazy, and uh, we went back to base and nobody was there, and it turns out that everyone is locked up in a cell. So we are here on day one, our first day of work, and everybody somehow is, is been has been trapped as being now a piece of toast and a trainee for these giant spaceship companies. What's going on?
for uh, for all the Mortal Kombat fans out there, I'm gonna throw out that this uh, this character skin's pretty toasty. Good toasty. All right. A little squash. The death animation for the toast is kind of funny. Um, he just burns. So he just goes, like, completely charred for a little bit, and then obviously he respawns, but... And the little ending, the little the little praise ending right there when he finishes the level is adorable. Coming out of the toaster all happy. Like, boom. Wait, what are you gonna do about it? Starfix, for all your barely legal repairs. If that doesn't uh, cue you into what's going on... I don't want to give anything away yet. Oh, we don't want radius mode. Not, not today. Because you can, you can make toast, little squishy toast, by pushing down. And I just ran into a spiky boy, which is fine. We'll just go back. That checkpoint, grab that black, and go back to that checkpoint. Because I usually, if I don't do that, toast is about to be more burnt. If you know what I'm saying. All right, let's get it. Toast hype. About three more main levels and then we are off to the boss. We do, in fact, have a boss for this game. It literally and figuratively. We will see that in a few moments. I hope you're enjoying the game so far. And my random ramblings. Oh, Spiky Boy! Spiky Boy! What are you doing? I don't know about chat, but I'm just I'm hypnotized here. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great game, and these Spiky Boys are giving me issues. It's fine though. Oh, burnt toast, everybody! The reason why I'm doing this is so you can see the burnt toast. Yes, that my plan is, my plan is working. All the way. Toast type. All right. So it says. That the, the ship is semi-fixed, but we don't want to go back yet, because we still have two more rooms to clear. Here. Please fall. And I love how they have random ceiling fans. Like, yes, ceiling fans are gonna definitely fix your problem of uh, people being imprisoned. Nobody else has figured that out yet, but apparently that's... That's one of their... I guess we're gonna grab this and go back up. Um, so there is a speedrunning board for this on speedrun.com, but it is a very small uh, group of runners, so uh, this game is not that optimized quite yet. So if you are one of those runners that is itching to optimize the crud out of anything, this is definitely a game that I would go for. The routing is fairly simple. You can pretty much do any route, really. Pick this is there's only one instance where I had to backtrack. So that's pretty much why I, I use this route, but pretty much you could do anything. Do anything. All right, so we're gonna grab this. And also notice, uh, since we are on this spaceship now, um, we turn the black boxes into white. So pretty much what we're doing is trying to shut down the security system. Curiouser and curiouser, I say. Grab that, these five little blocks. Jump, jump, jump. Grab these, and then we're gonna reset right there, and then jump up here, and boom. There you go. Toast. And boom, toast. Alright, so we don't get a skin for this yet, uh, until the very end. So we're- this is the final boss, everybody. Let's get- let's get some hype and chat. This is the boss, and he pretty much told me his plan. And I asked him why he's telling me his plan. But apparently that's what evil, evil people do. It's just like, they find great joy in doing that. Um, so right now we have to jump on these boxes to turn off the security system. Uh, that has the little... Electron... Little, uh, electronic... <laughs> little thunderbolts all over the place. Just that his company is going belly up. And instead of, you know, like filing bankruptcy or anything like that, he's just like, I'm just gonna imprison everybody and turn into like this monster block thing. A way to deal with your problems, I don't suggest it. Uh... This is gonna be the final sequence of it. Um, so time is gonna be 
not at the end where we uh, smack the boss in the head, but actually after the dialogue. So I will let you guys know when that happens. And the reason why I'm resetting at the spawn point right now is that uh, he is in the position where I would be hit. And try to move out the way. Did I miss one? No, that was weird. Yeah, little squiggly lines all over. So I'm gonna wait till he attacks. Yes, toast. And time. All right, so that's time. And that was actually very close to my PB. But since we have a couple minutes, I do want to... A couple features of this game. So as soon as you beat the boss, you can actually go back and review pretty much your map as well as the maps of all of the spaceships that we helped complete. And you see the little names and logos and stuff, which is really cool. But this is also your individual level time. So, columns are the different categories, which is also really cool. So if you are a speedrunner like myself, uh, to improve your times, you can just use the same file if you wanted to, and just keep beating it over and over. So that, that was, uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, CEO unlocked, look at that. So we unlocked the CEO, we are this, this old man. This last thing I want to show you guys is the level select real quick, and then I think I have, I think that's it for me. Um, so when you go into a level right here, you see vanish, which is the transparent, pretty much after you touch a block, it vanishes, and growth, uh, it turns into little static boys, so you can't go backwards. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to show you guys that real quick, uh, but that... My good friends is Mobility. So much for having me on your channel and for watching this. And I really hope and encourage anybody that wants to speedrun it to do so. It's a lot of fun. If you don't want to run it, that's fine too. Just pick it up, throw a Roryx some love. And, uh, and I hope you have a brilliant Wednesday. That was a fantastic run. Thank you so much for showcasing for that that for us, Air Angel. I was completely mesmerized the entire run. So if you guys like what you see here, please give Air Angel a follow, twitch.tv slash Air Angel, and you're in for a good time. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>